Hello and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up automatic shutdown and starts of your Azure virtual machines. Now, if you have several virtual machines that are running 24 seven, but you do not need them to run at certain times, you can simply use this method to save costs. So let's go ahead and see how this is done. I've logged into portal.azure.com and I've gone to virtual machines. I've got a test virtual machine. So I'm going to click on the virtual machine and scroll down until you see automation. Under automation, look for tasks, click on tasks and click add task. In here, you're going to see several templates. The first template that we're going to use is deallocate virtual machine. Now, you can also see power of virtual machine. Do not use power of virtual machine because that simply shuts down the virtual machine at a predefined time, but you will still be paying the same amount of money as if the virtual machine was running. This simply shuts down the virtual machine, but the resources will stay allocated. So you want to select deallocate virtual machine, which power offs the virtual machine and also deallocates the resources. So once this happens on the virtual machine status, you will see stopped within brackets, you will see deallocated, which means for that time, the virtual machine stays deallocated. You're not paying for computing charges. So select deallocate virtual machine and click next. We need to create these connections. To begin with, it will say not connected. So click create and you will need to sign in using your Azure account. So click sign in. And if you've got single sign-on enabled, it should simply log in using your account and make that connection. That's connected. So I'm going to do the same for the second connection. Click sign in. Select your Microsoft account and let the connection go through. So once you have connected these two connections, the next thing is to configure the schedule. Click next. So task name, give it a meaningful name. I'm going to say auto deallocate test one VM. And I'm going to specify the time. So the schedule is going to start as of today. Um, I want my virtual machine to be shut down at 11 p.m. I'm based in Australia, so the time zone is going to be Australia Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you select your correct time zone when you're setting this up. Um, Okay, Australia Eastern Standard Time. Interval is one. And frequency, I want this to happen daily. There are a few options here. So select the option that you like to use. But for me, for this demonstration, I'm going to use daily, which means every day at 11 p.m. This virtual machine is going to shut down properly and deallocate. Okay, I made a mistake earlier. It's in 24 hours, so make sure um, that you put the correct time in here. So 11 p.m. is 23, as you know, so it is 23 in there. So in here, I'd like to get notified. I'm just gonna enter an email, I'm just gonna put a random email in here just for demonstrating purposes and then click next and click create. So this is going to create an automation task which is going to work according to the schedule that you have defined. So every day my virtual machine is going to get 
stopped and deallocated at 11 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So the next task that I'm going to do is I'm going to start the virtual machine. So I want to create another automation task which will start my virtual machine every day, let's say at 10 o'clock. So what I'm going to do now is let me just go back. I'm just going to go again at a task, start a virtual machine, click next. The connections are already remembered, so you don't have to log in using your Microsoft or Azure account again. So the connections are already connected. Click next. And I'm going to put a schedule here. Auto start. Test. 1 p.m. So I want this to start from tomorrow. Um, and I am going to select 10 o'clock in the morning. Time zone the same, Australia Eastern Standard Time. Interval is going to be one. Frequency, I want this to happen daily. And I just want the notification to go to my email. I'm just going to put a random email address here. There you go. And click Next and click create. So as you can see, I've set up two automation tasks. One, to stop the virtual machine at 11 o'clock at night every day, and the auto start automation task will turn on the virtual machine every day at 10 a.m. Now you can obviously override this manually if you like to do so. On occasion, you may need to do that, but this schedule will make sure that your virtual machines run on a predefined schedule and that will help you save costs as much as possible. I hope this video made you learn something new. If it did, please subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions about this process, please put a comment below and I'll answer to the best of my ability. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good day. Bye-bye.